Now, as I've been recording these position palettes and, and things like that, what I haven't been doing is labelling them. And I kind of should. I really should be labelling these properly. And there's a very good reason for that. Now, uh, for example, if I have... The, I've got two position palettes in there at the moment. So let's, let's label those things properly. So if we go into on the screen here, you can see... The, uh, the space is there for me to label it quite easily. I just have to click on the box and then click on it again to open it or click on the box and hit the edit button. And there's always edit button somewhere on the console that you happen to be playing with. And uh, uh, then I can put the label in. So in this case, I'm going to call this one, uh, I'll call it uh, prompt side or PS for prompt side and I'll uh, call the other one OP, so call that one OP. All right, so very simply, um, when I bring up the uh, position palette for um, those two things, you can see that um, position number one is PS or prompt side and position number two is OP. And I can move those lights around as required. Now, if you're very smart and you spend a lot of time programming your show and you set up all of your palettes in advance of recording all of your cues, then you can use the text match feature, which is sitting down here, in order to recall positions. Okay, so uh, very simply, I've got those two lights selected. Uh, and we're going to be manipulating position, so I've just hit the position key, which was S5, and uh, I want to text match, so Alt S12, and it's the position uh, prompt side, so P, I've typed PS, and oh look, hey presto, bingo, it's one of the options there on uh, Alt S1. So I can go Alt S1, and the big advantage of that is if you sit down and you set up all of your positions as you flow through your show, so Act 2, Position 1, or oh sorry, Act 2, Scene 1, and you prefix the name of that um, position with A2, S1, Table Down Centre, or something like that, it means that when you go searching for um, various different position palettes to use them again, you can actually use Text Match to find... Um, palettes from within hundreds of palettes that you've recorded. Each one of these look pages can theoretically hold up to 99,999 looks, which, you know, by any scale of things is an awful lot. Um, very unlikely to be actually reached and, and filled up so much so that you have to just add another look page. So uh, the, uh, the big advantage of that is if you use palettes to its fullest extent, you then start to be able to, to grab what you need when you need it.